Hi there. Welcome to another video of the uh, Make Your Own. And this kit is the one where we can make sort of a, a key ring holder. And this is a brooch and that all comes in the kit. And what's so fun is you can be really creative here because these are all the pieces that come in the kit. So the flowers are different colors, but you get four different flowers, the key ring, the brooch, twill tape, and then a little bit of poof of batting if you want to make a little more of a 3D. Now the nice thing about this kit is you can actually glue these pieces on if you want to. Same with the brooch and the holder in the back. Um, the main part you have to stitch really is to get this down just so it's secure so if you had some weight on here it wouldn't come apart. So you can put this together any way you want. That's what's so fun. Um, this could be the key ring holder instead. I mean, you could put flowers, mix and match, but I'll show you how I made these guys here. So I'm taking my black thread um, just so that you can see it a little bit better. And we're gonna get the twill tape attached to uh, our little yellow circle. So right now I'm gonna make my little knot in the back and you have to be careful that the knot's not too small because the felt, the material is such that the knot may pull right through. So the knot's got to be a little bit bigger. So I'm sort of making a, a, a little fatter knot on that one. Alrighty. So here's my twill tape. There's my key ring. So we got to make sure that we overlap those just so that when we stitch it, we're catching everything. And then on here, I'm using two strands of thread because I want to make this a little more secure. I want to make sure it's not going to go away on me. And I'm going to stitch through both layers. Now, twill tape is a little more tightly woven than this felt is. The felt's not woven at all, actually. And so what happens is, it's a, if your needle's too thick, you're going to have a little work trying to get that needle through that twill tape. Alrighty. So I think this isn't going to go anywhere. Got a little bit of a rectangle. Now I'm going to take a little piece of material here, make my knot, finish off. Do it again. There we go. Now we've got that on there. Okay, so this will be this will be the back part. And now let's get our little face on. Oh, and actually we really don't need. I was going to show you how we do this without with just a single layer, uh, one strand of the thread. Okay. So we just need to knot one of the threads. There we go. Alrighty. Let's take our other circle. Let's get our eyeball on there. So we'll just want to see how we want to lay this out. There. What a happy face. So what we can do is we're going to come right from the back. And maybe we'll just do two little stitches. And if you want to be really careful, it's like what they do in beading is make a little knot back here and you don't have to cut the thread but this way if something happens where <laughs> the one little dot somehow got ripped off you're not going to lose everything else so i just took a made a little knot but i'm going to move right on over i'm not going to cut my thread and there we are Oop. i'm going to come on down and get my little dot on here Maybe make another little stitch. There. And let's, you know, once again, you can glue this down. Just, you know, find a, a nice Elmer's glue. Nah, not the best choice, but some kind of fabric glue. There we go. And once again, you know, you're not, doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to cover everything. There you are. Now you've got your face all done. So, next step is we're going to put the two pieces together. 
and here you can go ahead and put the little batting if you like to have it have a little 3D look. All right, now I've got my yellow thread, uh, single strand, my little knot on the end. You can see it's not real long, but long enough that I can get around. So let's put, making like a sandwich out of this. And I think I'll start up here. You know, and you don't, you can put this little orient this any way you want, doesn't matter. So I think I'll go through the twill tape and come on up. That twill tape's a little, little hard to come through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the back stitch just because it controls my um, stitch length a little bit better. At least it helps me make my stitches more even. All right, so now we're right back where we started. And what we're gonna do is we go back to the back and just do a little knot. Take a little piece of material, go through your loop, pull it snug, do another one. There we go. Wow, look at that. Isn't that fun? How cool.